It can be hard to wrap your mind around this idea, but the fact is that PG&E, the biggest power company in the nation, is a criminal. A jury found PG&E guilty of six federal felonies, including lying to investigators after its gas line blew up this neighborhood in San Bruno. PG&E promised to become safer. It didn't. Instead, PG&E power lines sparked wildfires that killed more than 100 people. PG&E plans to plead guilty to 84 counts of manslaughter for starting the campfire, the death deadliest wildfire in California history. Our reporting on the power line that sparked that fire showed you how the state proved PG&E knew it had safety problems there because it had fixed the same problem before. The federal judge is trying to make PG&E safer with new probation terms. He ordered PG&E to start tracking the age of parts, like the hook that broke. PG&E calls the judge's new terms impractical and impossible, arguing the new conditions interfere with the efforts of the California legislature and its regulators to address the same subject matter. As a reminder, our reporting also found that 8 out of 10 members of the state legislature took campaign money from PG&E even after the company became a convicted felon. The state government, led by Governor Gavin Newsom, is trying to help PG&E get out of bankruptcy by the end of June so it can tap into a state wildfire fund to cover the cost of damage from future wildfires that its power lines spark. Will PG&E get out of its latest punishment? We'll have coverage of the company's day in court tomorrow.